the construction process commenced with the adaptation of the bridge to ensure it could handle the increased flow rate required for flood protection. Work began with the construction of abutments, piers, and auxiliary piers in the area at risk from the Rhine. This crucial step laid the foundation for the subsequent stages of the project. To optimize construction efficiency, the project adopted an incremental launching method for the steel structure insertion. The direction of insertion was planned from Fusak towards Hart. The construction sequence followed a strategic order, starting with the abutment on the Fusak side before moving on to the adjacent piers. The new Rhine bridge hard Fusak, which is planned as a four-span steel composite bridge with a dissolved cable structure, has three new piers, of which two of the pylons support the cable structure. The structure, four-span girder, has span lengths of 50 meters, 125 meters, 50 meters, and 31 6 meters. This results in a total span of 255.60 meters. The challenging subsoil conditions, characterized by mushy to soft lake clay deposits, necessitated robust excavation support. To achieve this, individual steel profiles, known as sheet piles, were driven into the ground. These sheet piles provided crucial support for the subsequent construction phases, ensuring stability throughout the project. For the pier's support, ductile small-driven piles were employed. These small piles efficiently transferred all loads on the pier structures into the ground. Hydraulic excavators equipped with impact hammers were used to sink these piles. The driving process involved installing a driving shoe at the base of the first pipe, followed by the placement of additional pipes in sequence. Reinforcement was a vital aspect of the construction process to bolster the pier's load-bearing capacity. Tensile loads were supported through the installation of reinforcing bars. Additionally, the pile casings were grouted to the surrounding ground, further increasing their load-bearing capability. The middle channel of the Rhine required additional shoring. To address this, auxiliary piers were erected directly in the main channel of the river. The construction in this section was particularly challenging due to working in the danger area of the Rhine. Nevertheless, the team managed to overcome difficulties with professional expertise. Due to the high damage potential in case of a possible flood, the discharge capacity of the Rhine is to be expanded from 3,100 cubic meters per second to a maximum flow rate of 4,300 cubic meters per second (HQ 300). The 255 meters long Rhine bridge between Hard and Fussick must therefore be adapted to ensure the primary framework conditions for flood protection. The welding process for the steel sections of the Rhine Bridge Hard is a crucial aspect of ensuring the operational strength and service life of the bridge's dynamically loaded steel structure. The individual steel components, prefabricated in different countries, are brought to the construction site and set up on the west side of the Rhine. To join these steel sections together, manual gas-shielded welding is primarily employed. This manual welding process requires skilled welders to ensure precision and quality. Additionally, the longitudinal seams on the top face are produced automatically by submerged arc welding, a method known for its efficiency and uniformity. The weld seam transitions are of utmost importance as they determine the bridge's integrity and safety. Therefore, special joint preparation is undertaken to meet high quality criteria. Furthermore, Post-treatment of the welds involves grinding, sandblasting, and multiple layers of coating, which helps enhance the bridge's longevity and resistance to external factors. The assembly of the supporting structure took place on the west side of the Rhine in a temporary factory hall, specifically erected in Fussick. This facility provided protection against the elements, enabling welding and coating work to be carried out effectively. 
ensuring the quality and integrity of the components was essential, and safeguarding against corrosion was a priority. The quality and integrity of weld seams significantly impact the bridge's operational strength and service life, making these steps essential for ensuring the overall safety and reliability of the structure. Joint preparation involves the careful and precise shaping of the edges of the steel components that will be joined together by welding. Proper joint preparation ensures a strong and consistent bond between the sections. Different types of joint configurations may be used based on the specific requirements of the bridge's design and the load it needs to support. Common joint configurations include butt joints, lap joints, and fillet joints. The steel construction phase was equally remarkable. The steel superstructure of the Rhine Bridge comprised a total of 17 individual sections and featured two pylons per main girder side, resulting in 38 components known as sections. To streamline the process, the consortium partner decided to fabricate as many components as possible in a steel construction plant located in the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Austria. By prefabricating the largest components in the factory, the construction team reduced the number of special transports required from 90 to 66. A significant milestone in the construction phase occurred in February 2021, when the two steel box girders were pushed into position using the incremental launching method. This approach involved shifting the girders incrementally in various phases, over the course of 10 attachment and shifting phases, with shifting lengths ranging from approximately 6 to 45 meters, the bridge gradually took shape. After each shifting phase, additional steel components were delivered to connect to the existing supporting structure. This meticulous process ensured that each phase was nearly in its final position before moving to the next step. The construction of the Rhine Bridge Hard commenced with the assembly of the steel box skirters, marking a significant milestone in October 2021. As these box skirters were longitudinally shifted into their final position, the next phase, the completion of the superstructure, began to take shape. Temporary structures like the assembly hall and auxiliary spans were gradually removed as they were no longer needed. Spherical bearings were then meticulously installed to ensure controlled load transfer between the superstructure and the substructure. These bearings facilitated tilting movements and displacements while withstanding high forces and rotational stresses. This critical phase was executed with precision thanks to removable spherical caps and concave-shaped bearing bases. The construction of the concrete carriageway slab began in December 2021. Despite the challenges posed by the winter weather, low temperatures below freezing point can impede concrete curing, so special measures were taken to overcome these hurdles. The slab was divided into 15 co-creating sections, utilizing the Pilgrim step method to minimize tensile stresses and the risk of cracks. The structural engineer precisely specified the concreting sequence, ensuring that field areas were constructed first, followed by support areas for piers and abutments. The goal was to have the final concreting completed in April 2022, making the bridge load bearing for further construction phases. The construction of the superstructure of the Rhine Bridge Hard commenced in October 2021, starting with the concrete carriageway slab. To achieve this, a massive 100-ton composite formwork carriage, a mobile formwork unit spanning 25 meters in length, was pre-assembled. At the end of October, it was lifted into individual parts, each weighing up to 15 tons, laying the groundwork for the subsequent construction stages. The first concreting phase of the carriageway slab kicked off in early December 2021. This phase involved meticulously pouring and curing concrete to form the sturdy road surface of the bridge. The final concreting of the carriageway slab occurred at the beginning of April 2022, marking an essential milestone in the bridge's construction. In mid-April 2022, the attention turned to the awe-inspiring pylons. 
these architecturally designed steel structures, soaring 12 meters in height, were transported to the construction site, each weighing 60 tons. With the help of a heavy truck-mounted crane, these pylons were lifted into place and assembled, complementing the aesthetics of the bridge. Along with the pylons, the installation of the 20 stay cables commenced, further enhancing the structural integrity of the bridge. To achieve the visually stunning centerpiece of the structure, architecturally designed steel pylons with a height of approximately 12 meters were installed. This process commenced in mid-April 2022, with each pylon weighing 60 tons. A heavy mobile crane was employed to lift and assemble these pylons, which were held in place by cable tensioning and precisely adjusted using auxiliary struts. The assembly of the ropes followed this phase, with each rope package consisting of multiple high tensile stay cables. Tensioning these cables was a time-consuming process, meticulously done strand by strand to ensure optimal pre-stressing force and stability. Fire protection systems were also incorporated to safeguard against temperature-related issues in the pre-stressing steel strands. The stay cables, crucial elements in cable stay bridges, were composed of seven-strand high tensile steel cables. Bundled together, each rope package contained up to 99 strands. The tensioning process for these cables was intricate and time-consuming, with each strand installed individually and pre-stressed simultaneously in several tensioning stages. An astounding total pre-stressing force of up to 900 tons was applied to each rope package, ensuring the bridge's stability and load-bearing capacity. The western abutment of the Rhine Bridge Hard played a pivotal role in the bridge's overall stability. Serving as the fixed point of the entire structure, the western abutment was designed as a rigid frame corner, enabling the transfer of longitudinal forces and uplift forces monolithically from the superstructure to the substructure. Thanks to the span-stiffened edge field, this area required no bearings or roadway transitions, streamlining the construction process. Phase 4. Waterproofing and edge strips to protect the deck from water penetration, a waterproofing membrane was applied, followed by the construction of edge strips. A formwork carriage was used for this purpose, and the edge beams were constructed in sections across 28 concreting stages. The Rhine Bridge Hard stands tall as a symbol of engineering prowess and collective effort. Despite various challenges, the project was completed on time and to the highest quality standards, showcasing the commitment and dedication of all involved. This bridge now serves as a crucial link between regions, enhancing connectivity and facilitating transportation over the majestic Rhine River. To protect the structure and enhance its visual appeal, a gray top coat, a two-component high-solid polyurethane top coat with micaceous iron oxide, was expertly applied by spraying. This coating provided durability and resistance to external elements, further extending the bridge's lifespan. As the construction work on the edge beams and protective coatings reached its conclusion, the installation of prefabricated bridge railings and guardrails commenced, these safety features were vital to ensure the security of vehicles and pedestrians using the bridge. After the installation of the final asphalt layers, the Rhine Bridge Hard was ready to be open to traffic in November 2022, just over two years after the ambitious construction project began. This achievement not only showcased the capabilities of modern engineering, but also brought enormous benefits to the region, fostering connectivity and promoting economic development.